Hello my friends of Atari Labs, uh, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about how to clip multiple um, Landsat 8 bands with Python and Gidal. Okay, so we are going to do a tutorial about how to clip. We are going to clip and raster a Landsat image. Okay, all the bands of a Landsat image, we are going to clip it to the extension of a. Um, uh, we are going to clip it to the extension of an area of interest okay uh, why do we do that uh, we, you can do this pretty well while we using any commercial or free GS software but however that the process will be great if you want to cut or clip one band or maybe two bands or maybe five bands but if you want to clip many bands from many um, from many um, from any image, this this process will be kind of very time consuming and very tedious. Okay, you can do this uh, in QAS. You can do this with PyQAS. Okay, but um, yeah, you can do it as well. Uh, but however, in in Python, you can do it with uh, Python and Gidal. And the process is pretty simple and maybe I could recommend this process because it's the one that um, that you can manage and then if you excel in doing this so this tutorial then you can think about your own your desi your own desired process okay the process that you want to do with the rasters that you want to study okay so that's why because actually the the pro the Python programming here is pretty pretty simple okay okay so first of all we start a Jupyter notebook Jupyter notebook okay here we are in documents you will receive this on the description of the video actually you will receive this and then you are not going to receive the whole the whole uh, you are not going to receive the whole uh, Landsat image because you can download any image okay what you are going to receive is a clipped version of the Landsat image yeah in order that you can reproduce this tutorial okay and then you as well will have the the scripts and on the output is the folder where we are going to store the results okay here on the output I will delete all results because I want you to see that actually there are no more there are any there aren't uh, any file here and all the files that will appear here will be uh, generated by the tutorial okay what else no nothing else okay so first of all okay on the here on the Jupyter notebook uh, for the installation of Gidal there is a video that is on the that will be on the description of the of this video that uh, will provide you the tools to install Gidal Fiona Shapely and, and any other okay uh, we as well we recommend you to to install Gidal in that way because if you are a Windows user uh, you can have some problems on the you can have some problems on the on the co on the configuration of Gidal if you use Conda okay well from our experience okay so here we go and here on the scripts we create a new script that it will be Python 3 and it will be tutorial okay tutorial okay okay so the process is pretty simple in the in the beginning we say from osgeo import gdal yeah because we are going to import gdal and then we import the uh, operating system package of, of uh, python of python okay great then we de we define an input path input path that will be the folder of image that will be one folder upper image okay on the output path will be uh, output okay 
and then we we are going to do a list comprehension okay what is a list comprehension that actually if you if when you download data from from Landsat image actually it it comes the data but then it comes these uh, text documents and some some any other documents and actually you cannot clip those documents because are, uh, those are text okay so we are going to do a list comprehension okay in order to uh, just to filter only the files that will end up with tiff so i say ban in ban ban for ban in os list tier input path okay if ban if the last characters is are equals to okay so let's say is a band of the band of the iteration of the bands that are on the OS list tier of input path if band of if the last four characters are equal to tiff this is a list comprehension actually I don't know I mean I strongly recommend that you go deeper in Python with this because you can you can do pretty cool stuff with list comprehension you can do filtering and without without doing much code okay and then say band list okay so those are all the bands without any other file that do not end up with tiff okay great and then what we are going to see is for and then we define the area of influence shape clip is equal to shape and this is a uh, area of interest okay then i run this cell okay okay so i here i have my inter my area of interest and then i have my my band list okay and i am using just gdal okay um, why do i do use gdal because uh you can do it with rasterion fiona shapely and so on but actually this can be done with just gdal so say okay so say for ban in ban list two points yeah and i say print output path plus band because i want to add a suffix to the to my band in order to stay on the on the file that is actually the clipped version so i will say c2 okay plus band okay so this is the this is the suffix that actually means that this is the clipped version of the pan okay and then say options okay gdal punto var, var options uh, it's actually options equal to equal to gdal what var options the put line ds name equals to shape clip and crop to cut line is equal to true because actually it will crop the image so actually it won't get i mean uh, have you ever experienced when you have the I mean the data only of the image but all the extension will be not a number yeah if you crop it actually you will crop it to the area of influence 
Okay, so and then let me say out of band is equal to gdal bar let me say src to ds tab it will be equals to input path class band our destination name or this ds is equal to this thing because is equal output path plus this comma and options equal to options then you have to close your you have to close your variable otherwise i think that you cannot uh, that it will be that actually it will be open so okay, okay great so let's see if we run this let's check here on the output okay and then we run this and okay it has a problem this name or this ds ah okay this is this so we run it okay and here it appears a clipped version okay if you want to see you can prove this with QS okay okay and for example here on documents this on land cover change no on clip multiple raster here i have my for example the band one this is extension the band one and here in output i have the clipped version of band one okay if you see here this is the original this is the okay amazing okay great and if you want to see the area of interest to see if it fits the area of interest this is the area of interest and this is the clipped version everything works well because everything is on the same system of reference okay okay great so this is the tutorial pretty pretty simple uh, I strongly recommend that you, if you want to process your own imagery, you, fair, you first have to complete this tutorial in order that you can um, you can think of what you can do with your own data and your own application. Okay. Uh, so far, thank you for the experience of bringing you these uh, tutorials in Python. We we want to provide you the next tutorial will be on land cover, land use change with Python. Um, with just with just python and i hope to see you to see you there uh, if you like this video please give it a like to the video if you like our youtube channel just subscribe to our youtube channel and if you like what we do and our approach on the use of open source software on on what resources and gis you can share it on your social networks okay thank you for all and long life to the open source software Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.